So if you're trying to take super clean and high quality photos for your gaming PC build postings over on Jawa, then I got you covered in this video. And real quickly, my name is Zach, and as a PC building YouTuber, I have a ton of experience doing this, and getting high quality photos is actually a really important step to getting that sale. One key factor that can really help your PC selling or flipping business is certainly taking high quality photos because they're the first impression of your listing, they can impact your credibility, and certainly the amount of successful sales that you can make. Here are all the points that we're gonna be covering today, but first up, let's start with properly framing that hero shot. All right, so here's some examples of what I would consider near perfect hero shots, and the reason why I'm calling them this is because you wanna take these pictures just ever so slightly underneath the PC, that way it looks like you're looking up at them, and this perspective can make a huge difference. Taking pictures of PCs or anything, honestly, looking down at them just doesn't do them justice, but rather you wanna look up at your grand masterpiece, and this is one of the oldest photography tricks in the book. For the hero shot, you also wanna make sure that the PC is perfectly centered in the frame, and also make sure that the two vertical lines of the case are perfectly up and down as well. And as far as tilting goes, if your build is rocking cable extensions, then tilt the build just enough where that 24 pin is showing, that way you're showcasing the full color scheme and the attention to detail that you put inside your build. This hero shot should always be the first picture of any posting. The next tip that I would highly recommend doing is just using portrait mode on your phone if it has it, that way you get a nice blurry effect behind the PC, that way your potential buyer is only focused on the PC build itself. This blurred out background aesthetic looks super professional, and if you're using a proper camera instead of a phone, just use a lower f-stop or aperture rating to achieve the same blurry background, and you can also do this in Photoshop if you have the skills. And for tip number three, this is an easy one, but it's often overlooked, unfortunately, but that's to always remove the temper glass side panel before taking any of your pictures. Keeping this glass on there can cause all sorts of reflections and crazy lighting, and oftentimes it doesn't allow the buyer to see what's actually inside the build, just remove it and you'll be good to go. And speaking of lighting, lighting can actually be your number one asset in taking high quality photos, and it's more important than using a fancy camera, for example, so always use natural sunlight as much as possible, and then always try to direct that light source in front of the PC instead of behind it. If you have to use artificial lighting, then try to light up the left and right sides of the build instead of just blasting a big light right in front of it, and do your best to get that light source inside the PC so you can actually see the internals as well. The next thing that you wanna do to take high quality photos is to make sure the background of the photo is nice and clean, tidy, and professional looking and also try to separate the PC from the background as much as possible. When you're trying to sell to customers, you wanna put on a professional show and if you have a proper background that's organized and clean behind the build, that'll look much more attractive than some dirty laundry, for example. I also wouldn't recommend having anything distracting behind the PC either and if you don't have anywhere to shoot a proper photo like this, then feel free to remove saturation or color from the background with something like Photoshop like I did here. Again, we want all the focus to be on just the PC itself. For tip number five, this one's also pretty basic, but honestly, like 50% of photos mess this up, unfortunately, and that's to make sure that the entire PC is actually in the frame. Having any picture that has the PC slightly cut off looks super unprofessional, so take your time when you're dialing in that hero shot, just make sure that you're not cutting off any edge of the PC in the photo. And then getting towards the end here, we have a couple minor details, but they actually end up making a big difference, and the first one is to never show RGB rainbow puke colors, and rather just pick one color scheme because it looks so much better. If you have RGB products, most people People can infer these days that they'll be able to select whichever color that they want, so rather than displaying the very unesthetic look of RGB puke, pick one color at a time and take multiple pictures with the different colors that look the best because these types of photos just look way better. Color schemes like black and red, black and blue, or black and green just look so much better than black and rainbow, and this concept will not just make your photos look better, but they'll make the PC look better as well. And finally for my last tip for you all is another easy one, but don't be afraid to use a fake plant, especially if you're gaming PC is a single color like an all black build. This kind of turned into a meme over the last few years because every YouTuber uses this strategy for their B-roll shots, but adding a nice vibrant green color to your photo can really bring that photo to life. Just make sure that the positioning is on point where it's not covering up anything important, and if you do this correctly, this can really make your pictures pop and add some nice flair to them. So hopefully this video gave you some value on how to take your PC photo skills to the next level, and if you have any more questions on how to do this, or if you want some feedback on your own photos or or your own listings, then feel free to join us over in the Jawa Discord server. I'll see you over there.